The stage was set. Bright lights illuminated three smiling contestants. A charming bachelor sat backstage, hidden from view. This was The Dating Game, a beloved game show of the 1970s. It oozed playful innocence. Little did anyone know, a monster lurked behind the scenes. Rodney Alcala, a man with a hidden darkness, was about to woo America. Alcala, contestant number one, played the role of the eligible bachelor. He charmed the bachelorette with witty banter. His smile seemed genuine. His eyes, however, hinted at something else, a darkness, a coldness. He won the date. What followed was a terrifying encounter that would forever be etched in the annals of true crime. The audience laughed along with Alcala's jokes. They were captivated by his charisma. Unbeknownst to them, they were witnessing a predator in his element, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Alcala's appearance on the dating game became a chilling reminder of the deceptive nature of appearances. Evil often wears a charming mask, Rodney Alcala was not just any bachelor, he was a serial killer. His crimes were as horrific as they were numerous. He preyed on young women, often torturing and killing them. His modus operandi involved photography. He would pose his victims, capturing their fear and pain through his lens. Alcala's appearance on the dating game took place during his reign of terror. He was already a wanted man in California. The FBI had placed him on their 10 most wanted fugitives list. Yet, there he was on national television, vying for a date. The irony was chilling. The juxtaposition of Alcala's public persona and his private reality is what makes this story so haunting. He was able to compartmentalize his evil. He could turn on the charm, masking his true nature. This duality is a terrifying reminder that monsters can hide in plain sight. Section 4 Zovato as Alcala A Chilling Transformation Daniel Zovato delivers a chilling performance as Rodney Alcala. He captures the duality of Alcala's character with unsettling accuracy. One moment he is charming and engaging, the next he is cold and calculating. Zovato's portrayal is nuanced and deeply disturbing. Zovato's physical transformation is equally impressive. He embodies Alcala's gaunt features and piercing gaze. His performance goes beyond mere imitation. He delves into the psyche of a killer, exposing the darkness that lurked beneath Alcala's charming facade. Zovato's performance is central to the film's success. He makes Alcala's evil palpable. He forces the audience to confront the uncomfortable reality that monsters can hide in plain sight. His performance is a masterclass in portraying a complex and deeply disturbing character. Section 5. Beyond the Curtain Unveiling Dark Truths Woman of the Hour is more than just a true crime thriller. It's a commentary on the media's role in shaping our perceptions. The film exposes the superficiality of the dating game and its ilk. It highlights the dangers of judging individuals based on fleeting impressions. The film also explores the dark side of the 1970s sexual revolution. While the era brought about positive changes, it also created a climate where predators like Alcala could thrive. Women were often seen as objects of desire their voices silenced by societal expectations. Woman of the Hour forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about our past. It reminds us that progress is not always linear. It also serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of vigilance and awareness. Section 6, A Haunting Debut, Kendrick's Visionary Thriller. Woman of the Hour is a powerful and haunting film. It's a testament to Anna Kendrick's talent as a director. She handles the sensitive subject matter with grace and intelligence. The film is both entertaining and thought-provoking. 
Kendrick's direction is assured and stylish. She creates a palpable sense of dread throughout the film. The pacing is deliberate, slowly drawing the audience into Alcala's web of deceit. The film's cinematography is stunning, capturing the era's aesthetic with eerie accuracy. Woman of the Hour is a must-see for fans of true crime and psychological thrillers. It's a film that will stay with you long after the credits roll. Kendrick's directorial debut is both impressive and important, marking her as a filmmaker to watch. Section 7. The Echo of Woman of the Hour, A Call to Remember Woman of the Hour is not just a film. It's a conversation starter. It compels us to examine our own biases and prejudices. It challenges us to think critically about the media we consume and the messages it sends. The film also serves as a tribute to the victims of Rodney Alcala and countless other predators. It reminds us that behind every true crime story are real people whose lives were tragically cut short. Their stories deserve to be told. Their memories deserve to be honored. Woman of the Hour is a call to action. It urges us to be vigilant, to speak out against injustice, and to never forget the victims of violence. It's a film that will stay with you long after the credits roll, prompting reflection and hopefully positive change.